let's talk about the start of hurricane season. Now, officially it is June 1st in the Atlantic Ocean and it peaks around September 10th, but Sometimes we can get storms even before June 1st, like we did uh, back in uh, 2021, 2020, and a few years prior to that. I'll show that list here in just a moment. But what do you need for a storm to form, and why don't we see them in the winter? Of course, it's colder, and that comes to the first ingredient. You need water temperatures above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. But it's not only that. You also need converging winds at the surface and already, already a area of convection that is popping up with plenty of moisture to help a crate rotation and a storm system out here and you need upper level winds blowing roughly in the same direction or a lack of what we call wind shear too much of that and that will just disrupt despite the fact you have all these other ingredients in place and reality is you need all of these to come together to have a named storm system out here and once that happens they can get strong but name storms before june 1st Actually, you go back to 2021, we had Anna on May 22nd, Bertha on May 27th in 2020, and Arthur as well in 2020, and even Andrea and Alberto. And then you can go all the way back to the mid-1900s, and we've seen storms before June 1st. So they're not unheard of, but they're not common either. So starting on May 15th, the National Hurricane Center has already issued their uh, tropical weather outlooks and their whole discussions and everything for the Atlantic Ocean and always keeping an eye out here in the tropics. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, First Coast News on your side.